so here we are again ghrelin it's a quite important hormone that it was discovered to be correlate with uh, correlate with uh, the control of appetite and uh, in this paper it was as well correlated with the adiposity and it is uh, as i have mentioned in the previous video it is a uh, are uh, very interesting interesting uh, to, uh, interesting point of view about the ghrelin because general ghrelin has been associated to to appetite control which is a short term control however this paper which was applied to rodents and uh, if you want to extend the result to human we must uh, must take as granted that uh, we can extend, which is something that is done all the time in the literature. So basically, as was mentioned before, ghrelin was a hormone discovered in the 1999. We, we it was discovered mainly by by Japanese scientists, but it was uh, mainly made known for the for the people for the for the, the scientific community by British scientists. Recently I, I was by curiosity just in a, a, a work of a Italian scientist that he, a person make, did me a suggestion to, to take a look and uh, you see that granny has been exploited a lot so it's not I have seen I have, I have not seen too much exploitation now about appetite it seems to me that the appetite side of ghrelin has already been exhausted the i mean the experiment side nonetheless it, this this is one of the main motivations of my work that it, it has not been exploited from a, a mathematical point of view and in most of the hormone we have a huge amount of works on the experimental side that come from medicine and you don't have too much mathematical description the advantage of mathematical description is that you can make simulation, you can try to understand, you can formulate hypotheses, you can you can test without necessarily need, need to use human or living system, which we call general code in silk simulation. The importance of mathematical model has been uh, sometimes controversial, sometimes it's so if you talk to a mathematician, they will certainly say that it's important. But if you talk to a biologist or so on, you can see there is a certain, certain not a certain uh, let's say, not co uh, not confidence to use it mainly because uh, as one I I received a review in a paper of mine and I believe I'm not quite sure. I believe the the person uh, had this kind of mind behind the person said in the end review. I can't believe that this complex system can be understood by a mathematical model, by this mathematical model in my specific, but I believe the mathematical model for me that time was more than enough to understand what I want to understand. So it it makes you fall in one of the main one of the main reasons why we 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 make mathematical model mainly because it gives us the opportunity to simplify the to simplify what we are doing, make it in a, in a more simple way. When you do make a complex experiment, it can be very difficult to have the big picture, especially if we, our research grow very fast. So as it grows, it starts to get more and more difficult. So mathematical model can be a way to to organize all this fine and maybe try to see what you will not be able to see just by naked eyes. So it is the, the, the second the excerpt, the first one we, we did before, and the first one we, uh, we show the importance of the, of the ghrelin in the, in the control of the, of the, it was mainly, I'm mean, sorry, I, I, I don't remember quite well what was the first one, anyway, we, uh, you can come back in the, make review but the second one is try is to is to understand one of the the important uh, uh, sorry I remember the, the first one we 
we uh, we showed a very important connection between uh, between ghrelin and the and the fat tissue and you could show some collection way you are welcome to review the first one so in this one in the second except you have ghrelin as a fat gh control a fat utilization control is very important because we know that leptin is produced by produced by fat tissue so the, the higher the, the concentration of fat tissue in your body the more uh, leptin we're supposed to have and it is somehow true because people with a uh, uh, high levels of body mass index has a high level of leptin and people very thin that has a low level of leptin and this you are saying that ghrelin can uh, indirectly control leptin so that's what we are saying here so they have shown in the rodents that the peripheral daily administration of ghrelin causes weight gain by reducing so that's one of the most important points because in general when you say that the ghrelin uh, induced weight gain uh, people say it's obvious because really increase appetite but the people show this was not the this increase in fat was not because of increase of appetite it was because of reducing the use of fat so it's like you have a system and you have input and output and somehow something makes the output stop right, or, or diminish so you, of course you are going to accumulate and the, here you say that the uh, grain is uh, reduced fat trigase in mice in red so interesting because this sentence show a connection between ghrelin and fat mass which has not been widely shown in literature i mean i'm talking about the, in the, at the age of the paid paper was 2000 so at the time it was more or less one year after the let's say the official time of the uh, that leptin was discovered so in this the discrimination between fat tissue and, and the leptin is already well known not ghrelin if that's not known so what's not clear for the sense was that i'm still trying to understand exactly where i should not know actually i should not have the quite the exact answer and i'm still working on that is that how that happened if ghrelin is able to influence the utilization of fat by reducing the use of fat so how that happened you know from the from, from publication that the, it was found that in the fat tissue you have receptor to ghrelin so ghrelin can influence the fat tissue directly so but it's in the papers there is, it does not say how it happened so it would be two ways one is by central nervous system sympathetic nervous system so if you really can affect the brain the brain can affect the tissue or the fat tissue asking it, it not to burn too much fat so or, or maybe the grain go directly to the fat tissue and tell it that stop the, the burning of fat tissue so we know that he for from for for, for uh, obese obese people that they, they have low level of ghrelin so they in theory they should burn calorie because they have low level of, of ghrelin however they have high levels of leptin so may, maybe there is an interaction between leptin and ghrelin with the inhibition so if you have a high level of of the uh, of, uh, of leptin and ghrelin we, you, you, you have this kind of difference. This is a perception that I'm, I'm trying to, to, to dig out. So it's something that I'm, I read somewhere, and in the paper they say it's just a kind of, a, 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 a guessing game. So interesting because most of the of the it's not have too much leptin because leptin there's explanation. Le people they are that they, they are obese and they have a high level of leptin and they still uh, keep eating and so on and not have this tight feeling that in general you, you would expect it today is called leptin resistance which is a, a kind of a anomaly of the of the, of, of of the physiological anomaly 
higher for, for ghrelin it's not yet explained so maybe to you somewhere and you have to find a paper that it will explain scientifically but so far you just know that the, I just know by my by, by paper that I read that the ghrelin ghrelin uh, is, is low in people with a high level of fat tissue but uh, exactly why that happened that goes against the the findings i don't know yet since ghrelin is associated to fatty utilization it must have a connection between the two so it must be connected to control of mass or long-term control that's the one that it is of the paper that ghrelin is a long-term energy homeostasis controller which is a, a different result that what has been done in the literature so far. So, glare is high when you were hungry. Hungry. So, sorry, there's a mistake here. She was be hungry. Then it makes sense to inhibit fat utilization. So that I'm trying. That you see here that it makes sense because if you are if you are hungry, it means that uh, it means that uh, that you, you you're supposed to eat. You're supposed to eat. You're supposed not to burn energy inefficiently. So it makes sense to make the inhibition of fat utilization, which is a reservoir of energy. It's not for estimate fat that when you lose weight, it's a uh, it's uh, published in some papers, your basal ghrelin goes high. So that's one of the reasons they believe that's why it's so difficult to lose weight. When you lose weight, ghrelin creates a compensation compensation effect that make you eat more. So it means if you, if your ghrelin will go 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 high, you start to burn less fat, so you you you, you, you tend to accumulate. And you are going to re regain the weight that you, you in theory, uh, you lost because of the diet. So this is a scheme that try to try to save for in that case you are saying that the, 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 the ghrelin somehow affect the the fat tissue. So ghrelin go there. There's a receptor on the receptors and go there and the in effect make the 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 amount of the of fat to increase leptin on the other hand is produced by fat tissue so the higher amount of fat tissue the more you have so somehow should have a connection between gladin and leptin on the level of fat tissue so we have basically three hormones that is connected to fat tissue we have the insulin which is responsible for asking the, 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 the fat tissue to accumulate more and more and more. So it's a, a sign of the, of the increased reservoir. You have leptin, which is produced by this reservoir. So you, you have ghrelin that appears to inhibit the burning of the... So, so you have insulin control the input. You have the uh, leptin as a as a as a as a container container content the content of the container signal. So the highest amount of leptin, the more fat you have. So and you have a ghrelin that somehow is telling you not to uh, to, to to burn. So in this case, in this case, it seems that when uh, when lept when ghrelin goes high which means that you, you you start not to burn leptin to push go down but however it's not so uh, this reciprocal uh, relation is still a controversial literature so uh, I, I, I found some paper and some reference and discussion about that but it's not yet still completely understood in some cases that they have uh, there is no correlation between ghrelin and leptin. Sometimes they found positive correlation, sometimes they found negative correlation. But by by reasoning about in the way of this paper, it is supposed to have reciprocal reciprocal relationship.